Inflation is still at nearly a 40 year high and Ohioans are struggling to make ends meet. Right now, the state's minimum wage is $9.30. That's only a 50 cents increase from a year ago. According to a living wage calculator from MIT, the living wage here in Franklin County for a full time parent with only one child adds up to $33.55 an hour. All these numbers are playing a role in labor negotiations between Kroger and its employees. 10 TV's Kevin Landers live outside the Kroger store near downtown with a closer look at the negotiations and how they're for a livable wage. Kevin. Well, good evening. You know, as of this month, the average salary for a grocery worker per hour is 1139. That's according to ZipRecruiter. That's well above the minimum wage. Still, workers say they deserve more as grocers struggle to find workers and inflation continues to take more of their money. Ohio's $9.30 per hour minimum wage is the 24th highest in the U.S. And while it's tied to inflation, it's far from what many believe is necessary for a livable wage. A living wage here in Columbus uh, for two adults, one child is closer to $30 an hour. Pay is a central sticking point in the negotiations between Kroger and its employees. The grocer has offered to boost wages by $1.80 per hour over three years and improve starting pay to $14.25 per hour. Policy Matters of Ohio says higher pay means less worker turnover, something the grocery industry has struggled with since the pandemic. Because when workers have what they need to make the basics, to meet their basic needs, they're going to be more productive. There's going to be less turnover. Sam Silverstein covers the grocery industry. He says if Kroger raises wages, others will likely follow. Anything Kroger does, people are going to notice. For grocery workers, this has been a time to say, you know, we run the stores that you shop in. So make sure that you, you know, are aware of our needs as well. With inflation at a near record 40 year high, Policy Matters Ohio says low income earners who work for high profit companies should be sharing in that success. Deepening poverty it is not a good outcome for us to continue to suppress wages at, at for the advantage of profit seeking. Um, that is not a sustainable way to uh, have a, a functioning economy. Now, by comparison, we reached out to Giant Eagle and they told us they pay their workers twelve fifty an hour at Giant Eagle, 14 hours at Market District, but they said they also have the ability to raise those on a case-by-case -case basis. Reporting live near downtown, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.